Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And in the last episode, um, we made the power reactor, and I finished off, well, we started auto crafting. And um, after I stopped recording, I went. I was trying to. I wanted to automate making um, the circuits, the you know the logic circuits and so on. And I couldn't couldn't get that automated. I found tutorials and I was following them, and it didn't seem to work. And I I don't know what I was doing wrong, but um, yeah, it was doing my head in. I was just getting really fed up of it. So I did what any sane person does, and I went and decorated my base. So now, because I think this room is different from the last time I recorded, so I've now got, well, I've got a painting there, but I've got polished andesite around the middle, because I think when I left it last time, the trim around here was uh, that concrete. And I wanted to change it, but I wasn't sure what I was going to change it to. So I changed it to the andesite to match the floor. Um, I've put edge lighting everywhere. Actually, we don't even, I don't think we need that anymore. The edge lighting is everywhere. One behind here, I think. I can't remember if I'd shown this, but I made this so I can access the tunnels. Tunnels, access the stuff behind here. Um, make my autocrafters bigger that kind of thing and um, also I made a basement and I moved some of the machines down here so this is making soul sand so there is sand here there is a, um, a resource generator up here making sand um, there are these item transporters from industrial foregoing and even though they need the same distance as pipes, they look better than pipes. So I've got them transporting water to the barrel, which has mycelium on the bottom. Sand is dropping in. And then, full of sand? It is full of sand. Oh, we just missed it. And then, um, once it's converted, it will change the... It will... No, it will convert the sand into... Once the water starts converting into which water, sand will drop in and the soul sand will convert and go into here. This is my obsidian um, machine that was upstairs. And we got the same thing. We've got the cobble, we've got water, and the item transporters are taking the lava. When it, is that filling up? That's filling up slowly. Well, fairly slowly-ish. It's filling up. Then once it's ready, it will turn into lava and it will put it into our block here. This is where I was trying to set up the auto crafting. So I've still got blocks and stuff missing for when I was going around the back and doing stuff. I'm going. I'm going to give it a bit of a rest because, like I said, it was doing my head in. I was ready to to throw. <laughs> Ready to throw the PC out the window, but you know you can see stuff. Oh, I've got my um my charger. So I pull the button. Do I not have any Certus quartz? I might not have any Certus quartz. Let's have a look. No, I don't have any Certus quartz. That's why. But if I have Certus quartz, I just pull the button, pull the chain. And it will charge them one at a time for me. So that's fun. And then I did more decorating. So first, I've, got, I've never seen this painting before in Minecraft. I knew you had those big paintings. Never seen this one. So even though it's off, I just left it because I wasn't sure I'd get it again. And um, I walled off here. I'll show you this in a minute. Got my window even though we're downstairs and we're underground still have a window i'll show that um these machines i'm not sure if i'm going to bring them back upstairs or not i i don't know downstairs sorry but i don't know they're here for now and the biggest change is here in the living quarters 
because I mean we're going to be here for a while so another big painting I've got my sofa a rug a nice bit of a nice um fireplace and a painting which is supposedly the you know my large tv right so we'll pretend it's a tv we've got tv reception and um the bedroom and i found these blinds i thought they were just decorative but then you can interact with them and then make it darker because these are luminous this is the luminous glass that's upstairs and it blocks out the light i think it's absolutely brilliant i love it so same thing these block out the light here so i don't have to look at the machines i can pretend you know i'm not on an outpost in the middle of nowhere and i also went up in the kitchen um i had all of my pam stuff oh because i finished the trees as well forgot about that so i've got my trees and the botany pots in the back so i've got all the um all the crops all the saplings they're all done and i put in a refined storage um system up here and i was going to put everything in here so then if i wanted to do a pam's recipe i could do it here but then um if i wanted to have like coffee or certain things that needed smelting i'd have to hook up a smelter and then kind of looked at it and thought nah so then i tried i put external storage on the oven and the everything but it's not seeing to be honest this is just seeing what's in the fridges because they're all obviously they're all linked together but it's not seeing it's not working like i hope it had worked so i'm gonna have to have a bit of a think about that and see what i want to do but it's all here all the food is all up here and i've changed the color i've changed this so now it's facaded around and it's flat on the table get off the table thank you and it's now flat on flat into the table rather than sticking up and um yeah that's basically it did i do anything else i've got my bench out here um i went breeding up all my animals but well, we have lots of pigs there's a compressed pig in there somewhere lots of sheeples lots of chickens is this full yes this is full I thought I had increased the storage on this. Move out the way, chickens. Oh, I thought I'd put upgrades. I didn't put any upgrades on that. All right, I'm going to have to get an upgrade to put on that. But that is basically what I what I did. Because, like I said, AE2 was just frustrating me. So, yeah, I went and cleaned up my base. Right, let's get some upgrades. Uh... Give it an emerald upgrade because i don't want to have to think about going out and checking to see if the eggs are empty or not so we will do that oh dear me right let's shift click but these two are going up so i'm guessing it upgrades all four slots which is fine right so i'm not going to do any more ae2 at the moment if I if I can get the auto crafting worked out, I will show you guys how to do it because I could not find any all the things I was finding was like from a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, and the inscribers and so on had changed. Well, they've changed how they look have changed, and I'm not quite sure it was it was working. I don't know. It's it it was strange. So if I find it, I'll let you guys know. Um, what I want today is industrial foregoing because as you can see, you know, the animal pens are full. We need to look at, you know, getting that sorted and that's all industrial foregoing. And also we need to look at getting to the end and we need wither gas for that. As far as I know, in a mob farm, I oh, yeah, am my clock. I've got my clock. Um, so yeah, so we need the, we need to get that up and going. We need the, we need a mob farm so industrial foregoing what do we need 
yeah this i will work on how do you get cupcakes so because yeah we need milk and stuff and you do have the milk in a jar but also you need other things as well i thought we we need we need to round fish oh yeah we need to get into industrial full going so let's have a look um there you go that's your fault yes because what's this this is the latex um block placer uh, the machine the slaughterhouse vector plates and then this is mob drops and different traps so yeah i think we need to go oh this is where the wither stuff is duplicating mobs and the slaughterhouse too yeah you need plastic so in order to get a mob farm we need to get into industrial foregoing okay so uh the first thing was we need gold and we get the manual which i did ages ago um uh, pitiful machine frame i made that for something so we get back some and then from there we need to make the fluid extractor so fluid extractor fluid extractor a lightweight pressure plate iron stone and a piston what are we missing a piston and what are we missing a gold pressure plate so there's that and we get one to three how many did we get we got two okay that's fine okay so we need plastic um we get make a fluid extractor and oh i should have put a, a acacia to um to grow because you need you need the acacia okay a fluid extractor need to be placed facing a log and to complete this task you need just a bucket of latex if you're using more than one fluid extractor it might be a good idea to make something like a common black black hole tank and pipe the latex from your fluid extractors into the tank yeah okay let's make that anyway what do we need black hole okay the quest all right so where are we going to set this up do i have any acacia at all i have to twerk up some trees just to get just to get a uh, aca we have the acacia singularity oh i never i didn't put those oh didn't think about that i never put those to that's what i should have been doing okay um we need storage drawer one by one and we need a singularity thingy technical term there you're learning all the technical t terms with me singularity um power generator no one of these things all right where are we going to put our latex i guess down in the basement out here I think in the basement. Right, let's put you this side. All right, so we've got fluid extractor. We need the crescent wrench, crescent hammer. I don't know if industrial foregoing has any kind of wrench, does it? I'm pretty sure it has some kind of wrench. Infinity nuke. No, that's not quite what I want. Does it not have a wrench? No. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. I thought it did right uh crescent hammer we took it out oh it doesn't like that all right so i'm not sure what turns it around if anything turns it around really okay it faces away from me if i go back one good face right and we need a draw put you here and where's my thing singularity thingy technical term i should trademark that technical technical term singularity thingy are you going to fill you not automatically pull from the bottom ah that's probably why i had it in the all right really got to look and see where the hit boxes are right, you are flush against so let's put you up in the ceiling to here to here we need item transfers we need another piston i auto crafted pistons i need to make like a hundred more or something we put one on the bottom here one on the top here you push that one in is it too far it might be too far okay let me use that quicker let's do this again nope not gonna work not if it's on its side hover hmm 
So why is that not working? Is it is it only like a block? Maybe it's only one block away. Okay. I thought it was more than that. Okay, maybe they can only be a block one block's distance. There you go. There you go. Now it's filling. So now that's filling up. We need we'll put a black hole tank. Alright, mechanical pipes. How many mechanical pipes? We have ba basic is fine. I put it on top here, I think we can. Figurator. And we want to really We've got if you have anything in your offhand, a lot of these things don't work. Oh, that was the other thing I found out. I knew there was a radial menu that you can pull up for mechanism stuff, and I found it. The default button is N, and then this comes up, and then you can just click on what you want. So I want to not the wrench, uh, energy, All right. You know, usually you hold down shift and you can use the mouse button key to scroll through. If you hold down N for nothing, then you can, it does the same thing and picks it up. So that I found out by accident, right? Really? Ah, so because we need, oh no, because it was on rotate items. I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning and there's not a bucket yet, but it's filling. So we'd have to make a couple more black hole units and not black hole units, a couple more latex processors. And I want to put a block placer underneath, although I'm not sure. Let's turn off hover. I'm not sure how it works. I've used block placers in from other mobs, other mobs, other mods, and it's fine. And this is going to go quite slowly because there's no power on it. Let's let's see. I slap some power on the back. If you put the power on the back, that should now work a whole lot faster. There you go. So this will fill up quite nicely. Right, so that's there. All right, so what's the next thing we need to do? So we need a bucket of latex. We don't have a bucket yet, but we will get one. What's after that? Latex processing unit. Bucket of latex, bucket of water, another pity machine frame. Do I have an autocraft for that? No, I don't. Let's make one. Oh, pity machine freight. That is not a processing. That is a crafting and we want substitutions. If we don't have oak logs, we want it to put in something else. That and my molecular, my molecular um, assemblers running out of assembly space. I need to start make you more right so what's the next thing latex processing unit no well, no we can make it from here latex processing unit oh you can't make it from here okay i thought you could processing we need a bucket of latex how much hmm. all right let's make two more fluid extractors all right let's make a hundred pistons can we make a hundred pistons only one way to find out, but it's doing them. It's doing them quite fast as well, actually. And I can hear a machine going. Or that could be just my speakers, I don't know. Oh yeah, it was me. Yeah, I was hearing a machine going. There you go. Right, anyway, we just need... We need a couple. And we have a bucket of latex. Do we have... There you go. We have that. And then we need dry rubber pellets. Tiny dry rubber. Okay, so if we put this here, no, not there. We can put it on top of the um, top of this, and then we can say, oh, it needs water, it needs water. Okay, we can put a sink next to it. That's gonna look weird. I'm thinking about how my machines look. It needs water and it needs power. All right, put the sink in the ceiling. Put the latex processing thing on top that goes on there goes there nope other way there you go oh yes output is there and it needs power i don't think it needs more than that it doesn't need a lot there you go that's 10 and that's that's 10 isn't it that's 100 
So yeah, that should be okay. Probably read that wrong. Filling up slowly. And now, mechanical pipes are put from you, you, and push, pull, and you're pulling up. Oh, well, there you go. And it's processing. Slowly, but it's processing. There you go. Quite simple. Compact ish, but it does what it's supposed to do. Right. So we need nine of those. And what's this? Dissolution chamber. The next thing we need. We need rubber for that. Let's get rid of some of these. But yes, it was from building the refined storage system because to build that, you need the circuits from AE2. And that's why. That's how I got into it, and that's why I wanted to to automate it. All right, so this is never going to be All right. So we needed another two fluid extractors. Would help if I actually hit the target. Really? And we don't have any way of. Is this going to rotate it? Rotate. No. That is annoying. That places away from you, right? Yes. I need to remember that places away from you. And configurator. Oh no, that. No, I wanted it to do. Oh, hey, what are you doing? I did want it to. Oh, that's too close. I need. Right, that's the bit that I need right on the bottom. Oh, of course, now that I drop down, I can't see it. Nope. Alright, so nine tiny rubber. That gives us back. And then we craft together nine. We want one dry rubber and then after that onto four and then we need to make plastic the smelting that yep so we have a dissolution chamber block placer and the dye mixer oh it makes dye red green and blue beetroot cactus and lapis and it will make any other any other die which is awesome we'll make that at some point but it's the block placer we want now uh block placer all right so dropper we need three of those block placer how does it work now in front of it is that pointing is that a key go working area which is right in front of it okay I'm collecting latex in this and it's not even hooked up. Well, okay. That was smart. All right, block placer away from you there. And how many do we have? Needs power. Do we have a blazing gate? Right. No working area, that's in front. I know, but it's not going to place anything because it's not gone. Wide working area, input is there. All right, I'm going to have to think of a way of putting this up at some point, but not now. We should have latex for days on that. Okay, dissolution chamber, diamond gear, and that's the dissolution chamber. And we get another dissolution chamber. Okay, and the simple machine frame is made in the dissolution chamber. It requires a pity machine frame, two bits of plastic, two nether bricks, two iron ingots, and a gold gear, and a water bucket of latex. All right, so let's put you down for now. And I'm going to have to do this manually, I think. Oh, it's taking all the latex. All right. All right, what we're going to have to do then is one of these. Why are you not ex oh no it's not going to get a chance to because the other side's pulling it out got latex oh it's going to fill the it's going to fill going to fill the pipe first can i get it out of the pipe or the bucket yeah i think we're going to have to yeah we're going to have to lose this latex all right what does this this takes um this is industrial foregoing and a speed upgrade industrial Great. No. Oh, add on. Add on tier range? No. Speed. Efficiency. 
Right. But you need the dissolution chamber for that too. Okay. And tier two. Okay. So we're just going to have to wait it out. Um, I thought it would have pulled it back in. All right. We'll just have to let it keep going at that point. Right, this is going to take a while. You're busy going in the black hole tank. Black hole tank has nothing because it's going straight into this. Oh, maybe what I should have done. Put the bucket in here. If I put a bucket in there, is it going to fill up the bucket before it makes the before it makes anything? I don't know. Let's see which one gets a bucket full first. Right, well I will be back when we get the extra bucket of that's what we needed, right? The bucket of latex. Yes, to put in here. So I'll be back when um when we have some latex. Okay, while I was waiting for my bucket of latex, I made um what do you call this thing? The dye mixer. And we've got our bucket of latex. So what are we supposed to do with it? Um simple machine frame. So we need two nether bricks. Plastic, pretty machine frame. All right, I think we can. Actually, we might as well just let them hang up. Okay, right. Do I have any nether rack in the system? Yes, I do. We should tell it how to make uh nether uh bricks. Nether, the nether bricks or just processing mode? Yes, we forgot about that. Right, that. Clear you nether bricks. There you go. And we will put that in the ultimate smithing factory. Smelting factory. Smithing factory? Where did I get that from? Right, so we want two of those. Uh, what else do we need? Gold gear. Right, two iron. Two iron. Gold. Two nether. Two plastic. We have two plastic. So you want a gold, it was a gold gear, right? Yes. Uh, two iron, two nether, two plastic. Iron, iron, two nether, two plastic. Oh, it's a dolphin. Oh. Do I not have any plastic? All right. Got enough for two. Two iron, two nether, two plastic, a gold gear. Two iron, two nether, two plastic, a gold gear. And what else are we missing? And a pity machine frame. Pity machine frame. You've probably realised um, the recipe is shapeless. So you don't really, you don't need to put it in a specific thing. Need some energy, so we need a gate. I'll have to make some more blazing gates. And we finished the chapter. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, does that give us anything? No. But it opens up the slaughterhouse part two and access to the other machines in industrial forbidding. Somebody does not like industrial foregoing. It's just a guess. But somebody doesn't like it. But once we've done that, because there's all the all the animal stuff, that's what I really wanted. So I'm going to have to make those. Manure. Um, crop growth. I don't know if I want to do that, but the laser drill we're going to need. The mob detectors. What's this? Supreme machine frame. Oh, lots of generators. I think if we... There's something... Advanced machine frame washing, fluid sieving, or laser base. Yeah, we're going to need those. Definitely going to need those. So, so that's that. We've done that bit. All right, so, did we, yeah, we, no, we didn't finish because we need the nether star. Right, so, next thing, slaughterhouse. We are, um, yeah, this is the side that we want. So next episode, we are going to step into making a mob farm because that's what we need. I'll have to think about where I want to put it. But our mob farm will be here. 
this bit I will work on off camera because basically it's just getting stuff and we have puffer fish you can make a fisher can't you yeah so we can we can I can do this off camera it's nothing big this is what we want to do next so then we end up getting nether, nether, nether stuff with a making a, a chamber to capture the wither so this is the no it's, that's not the main um okay but you need to do the machine frames and stuff okay cool right so that's our next our next thing making a wither factory and a mob factory so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye